This is a Closet Jedi here for another Star Wars action figure review. Today we'll be reviewing a Star Wars 2003 The Empire Strikes Back Battle of Hoth pack. This is a pretty cool figure, um, figure pack. Um, it's mostly All these figures are pretty much, except for this R3 A2 here. Um, our reissues. Uh, this Princess Leia, this Luke, this Chewbacca, um, and Tauntaun have all been all ones that have been previously issued, if not almost exactly, um, but with very different, very, very little differences. Um, you've got Princess Leia, comes with a blaster. You've got Luke Skywalker, comes with a blaster and a lightsaber. And looks like for action figures from 2003, he has some pretty decent articulation in the knees. Not so much in the elbows, although I can't tell if perhaps... No, it doesn't look like he has any articulation in his arms. And you have Chewbacca. Has some sort of white flex on him, I guess to show off the snow. He comes with a bowcaster. Okay. As for the Tauntaun, he comes with a saddle. I guess those are reins for Luke to hold on to as he's riding. And the special feature in this one is that he has a Tauntaun, the Tauntaun with a split open belly. And I suppose at some point I'll be opening this one up to show him off and display and I'll do another review. Looks like those are his guts that would fall out of his belly if you want to recreate that scene where Han Solo finds him and he cuts up the, the Tauntaun and stuffs Luke inside the uh, Tauntaun, and I think that's what, uh, what's the line? I guess these, these actually smell worse on the inside. Something to that effect. Um, the reason why I picked this one up is to try to complete my R2 Rada Astromech collect collection. Um, this was the first time that Hasbro did a R2 unit with a clear dome. I picked this one up for pretty cheap for 10 bucks somewhere and it's just, you know what, I, I needed to pick it up. Um, he also comes with, this set comes with several clear display stands, which I'll definitely put to use. Okay, let's take a look at the back. As I said before, this was from 2003 and this is a R3A2 unit, which is what, the main reason why I picked this one up. Since it's the first time R2D uh, Hasbro released a uh, astromech with a clear dome, let's take a look at the back. We've got several images from The Empire Strikes Back. We've got Luke on a Tauntaun, Chewbacca. You've got the R3 A2 unit right there, an image from the movie. You've got Princess Leia. Okay, let's take a look. Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Three years after the destruction of the Death Star, the Rebel Alliance continues to fight against the Imperial forces and suffers a defeat on the ice planet Hoth. Luke Skywalker journeys to the planet Dagobah to train with Jedi Master Yoda, who has lived in hiding since the fall of the Republic in an attempt to convert Luke to the dark side. The evil Sith Lord Darth Vader lures Luke into a trap in the cloud city of Bespin. In the midst of a fierce lightsaber duel with Vader, Luke faces the startling revelation that the Sith Lord is in fact his father, Anakin Skywalker. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, Tauntaun with split open belly. I'm actually very curious to see what that looks like. How that works out. Um, Tauntaun looks like it's going to be one of my favorite figures. 
the detail, at least on the image, um, looks pretty good. I'm impressed. Uh, we got Shibaka here. A warrior of great strength and loyalty, Shibaka became Han Solo's partner in crime during his smuggling days and fights beside him in the Rebel Alliance. Luke Skywalker riding a Tauntaun. Luke Skywalker patrols the perimeter of the Rebel base on the planet Hoth. During his patrol, he is attacked and captured by a vicious Wampa, but uses the power of the Force to free himself from the predatory beasts. Here's a Tauntaun again. On the ice planet Hoth, the Rebel Alliance uses Tauntauns as mounts and pack animals. These easily domesticated animals are protected from the planet's extremes, cold by their thick gray fur. And then Princess Leia, a key command figure in the Rebel Alliance. Princess Leia becomes a source of inspiration for the Rebels when she stays on Hoth, directing the evacuation, even when the base begins to collapse around her. And then the action figure that I Pick this one up for R382, developed for service aboard capital warships and battle stations. These droids look much like R2 units except for their clear plastic domes that show off the computer processors. This was from 2003. Okay, now R382, this isn't this is the first time that Hasbro um, released a R2 unit with a clear dome. R3 2 was re released as part of the Build a Droid collection. It was one of the droids that you could collect the parts for. Um, I am do have the R3 2 from that line. If I could take them out of this display case without causing too much of a problem, I'm missing. Looks like I'm missing the left leg. So I this is left, right? Of this R3E2. Um, you know, I've been trying to find it on eBay, having a real tough time. Um, I really need it to complete my collection, but let's see if we can compare it to R3E2 from this one. Um, look, doesn't look like it's too different paint job is definitely similar um, the blue detailing here looks like it's a little bit more pronounced it has more of a deeper orange color as well as this line here at some point when I open it up I'll be doing a comparison video of just these two astromechs and uh, that's it hope you enjoyed this video of course this was the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Battle of Hoth pack from 2003 and can't wait to add this guy to the rest of my astromech collection and there we go thanks for watching